Hello there, welcome to Blink and Beep. Thanks a lot for choosing to watch this video. In this video, I'll be unboxing and demoing the new Tingsi Smart Wi-Fi switch. The model I have here is the 4 node Smart Wi-Fi switch, which means you can control 4 10 amps regular switches with this device. First thing I notice is the size. This actually looks very tiny in real than how it is shown on the website. Tiny is good because this device sits inside your switchboard and it needs only small space. This can be controlled via Google Assistant and uh, Amazon Alexa, just like other smart products nowadays. But for the demo purpose, I will use the Tingsi mobile app. I will cover the Google and Alexa configuration in a different video. The price of this product is 1,479 INR. The link is in description. Please check if needed. On the uh, other side, we have some highlights here, but I'm pretty sure this won't be visible in the video. Let me just read them out. First one is about controlling our lights, fans, TV, or uh, similar appliances from anywhere through our smartphone. Uh, next, we have uh, Tingsi app, which is free to download and available in both Android and iOS platforms. Then the Google and Alexa compatibility, which we just saw earlier. It has scheduler option to turn on and off the appliances remotely. It works both offline and online. When in same Wi-Fi, even if your internet connection is down, you can still control the smart switch. Also, we have OTP features in the app for safe and secure operations. Multiple people, usually our other family members, can also access the smart switch from their smartphones. We also get notified via notifications when other members control the smart switch. Easy integration with switches, no upgrade needed. And it uses lower voltage, so it is safe. Finally, we get one year warranty for the product. The power rating is actually 300 watts per switch. And this device supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi channel and not the 5 GHz Wi-Fi channel. Uh, that is typical as other smart devices in the market. So there isn't any details about what's in the box. So let's unbox to see what we get in the box. So inside the box, we have the product and a simple user manual. As we see, the cost cutting is very much notable. The product doesn't have any plastic outer cover and uh, the user manual is just an A4 sheet and uh, actually it's not even cut regularly. I mean, this is fine. The product stays inside the wall behind your switchboard, but uh, this could at least be a full A4 sheet in my opinion. Uh, anyways, the user manual has a simple circuit diagram and uh, steps to install and uh, configure through the smart mobile app. On the switch, we get an indicator and a reset button. So the reset button is to be pressed for 5 seconds so that it enters the pairing mode and uh, we can reconfigure this device with uh, the mobile app and change Wi-Fi, do such things. On the other side, we have these connection endpoints. According to the manual, the middle one is for line and neutral. The top four black ones are for uh, connecting to the switches and the bottom four uh, green ones are for connecting to the load uh, which will be your light or TV or any such devices or appliances. So let's get started with the installation. Before installing the Tingsi hardware, we will install the Tingsi mobile app and get the registration completed. Make sure you have the location turned on and also make sure you are connected through 2.5 GHz Wi-Fi in your mobile since uh, Tingsi doesn't support 5 GHz Wi-Fi channel. Let's open the Tingsi app. You can opt for either Google login or mobile number login based upon your convenience. I choose mobile number based login. You get the OTP and upon successful login, we see the home screen. Here as you see, there is a living room configured already and it has two devices, the tube light and the LED dimmable light. That's because I already am using a two-node Tingsi smart switch which is configured to my account. Now let's proceed to add our new four-node Tingsi smart switch. For this, press the plus button in the bottom of the screen and we have to select the Wi-Fi device. But before doing that, we need to complete the Tingsi hardware installation. Let's switch to that. The first step of the installation is to remove the switchboard and find the line and neutral wires. As shown, the first wire connects the Tingsi to neutral here. Then from the next port, we have connected to the line. For demo purpose, I'm going to show the wiring for just one switch. You can repeat it for the remaining three switches. The blue wire is connected to the load, which is my LED light in this case. Then the corresponding port is connected to the actual switch. It is time to press that Wi-Fi device on the mobile app. It takes us to the next screen. We have two different methods to add the device. 
although the uh, smart config method is shown as uh, recommended i had trouble with that method earlier so for this demo i'll be using the second method the ap method but before clicking on this make sure your tingsy is in ap pairing mode if it is in ap pairing mode you will see the green led blinking for 2 seconds like shown in the video if not or if you are in a confusion you can press the red reset button and uh, hold it for 10 seconds which will turn the tingsy device to ap pairing mode then click on ap method now just like that it will find your tingsy device next step is to click on go to wifi settings here from the list select the wifi that starts with tingsy in its name once your mobile is connected to this wifi click on the back button now you have to select the actual wifi to which the tingsy will be connected always from the drop down i am selecting my wifi enter the password for the wifi and click connect now it connects the tingsy device to the router now i am changing my mobile to connect to my wifi and uh, clicking on back and that's it our new tingsy device is configured you can customize the room name and uh, all the four nodes as per your requirement and uh, once done click on done now our four node tingsy is configured and ready to be used from the home screen of the tingsy app let's see a quick demo of how this works as we see on the screen i have updated the room name as pathway and also updated the device names as per my convenience for the demo purpose let's consider the ceiling led which is the first device i can simply turn the toggle on in the app and the light turns on similarly when i turn the toggle off the light turns off now turning on again and as we see our switch is in off mode and still the light is on turning it off in the app and the light goes off coming back to the physical switch we can turn on the light directly from here as well turning it on and at the same time the toggle in the app changes to on state as well when i turn it off from the physical switch the light goes off and the toggle in the app switches to off mode so we have seen the basic use case now what if i turned on the light from the app and uh, what if i want to turn it off using the physical switch you can do that as well simply on the switch and uh, turn it off and the light goes off and you also get the toggle updated in the app as well now for the reverse scenario what if i turned on the light from the physical switch and what if i want to turn it off using the app that can be done as well simply press the toggle and the light goes off while the physical switch remains in on mode which you can leave it as it is or switch it off at any time which will have no issues so that's pretty much about how the tingsy works this actually is a really cheaper way to convert your home to smart home and automate the electronic devices without opting for the much costlier physical smart switches Also there are timer and scheduler options available which I have covered in separate videos please do check those videos if you would like to know about how to automatically turn on or off the devices and also to find out about the uh, many other possibilities we get with the Tingsy smart switch I actually have been using the two node Tingsy smart switch for the last 6 months and so far I haven't faced any issues with the device and that is actually the reason for me to buy this four node smart switch and also planning to buy few more for the other rooms as well I certainly recommend getting this for your home and give it a try. Pretty sure this makes your life a little easier. And with that we come to the end of this video. Hope this was useful and informational. Catch you in another video. Thank you. Bye bye.